Ganesha is reluctant to write. Sage Vyas was unable to decide whom he should approach and ask to become his writer. He thought, I should approach Lord Brahma and express my confusion. I think he would be able to suggest me a suitable person. Lord Brahma patiently heard Sage Vyas's request. Don't worry Vyas, I have someone ideal in my mind. Let me talk to him, said Brahma. He then worshipped Lord Ganesha. When Ganesha appeared, he put forth the sage's request to him. Ganesha went to meet Sage Vyas in his ashram. Vyas wanted him to write the Mahabharat. He said, O oh mighty Ganesha, I want to write down the couplets of the Mahabharat. But my main problem is that I cannot think and write simultaneously. I would be grateful if you join me in creating this epic. But Ganesha was hesitant in accepting the proposal. He said, Respected sage, I am very busy visiting my devotees and solving their problems. So I am sorry I would not be able to assist you. Ganesha agrees to write Mahabharat. Finally, Vyas succeeded in convincing Ganesha to write down the couplets of the Mahabharat for him. But Ganesha put forth a condition before starting the word. Sage, I want you to narrate the couplets at one go, which means I do not want any interruption while writing. If you stop your narration in between, I will quit at once. Vyas was worried. He started thinking of a solution to the condition laid by Ganesha. He thought, how can I dictate non-stop? It is impossible to speak continuously without pausing. It is difficult to narrate the right words and phrases without a break. So Vyas laid down a counter condition. He said, Lord, I agree not to pause while I dictate, but promise me that you will write down only after understanding the meaning of what I say. Ganesha said, Do not worry. I will write down the couplets only after understanding them. But while doing so, if I take some pauses, those pauses will not be counted. Sage Vyas agreed happily. Vyas dictates Mahabharat. The moment Ganesha agreed, to write down the epic Mahabharat, Vyas started framing the couplets in his mind. He framed complex couplets so that Ganesha might take long pauses. Those pauses would help Vyas frame the next set of couplets and so on. On the other hand, Ganesha was getting ready his writing material, especially the Bhuj Patra, flattened pieces of bark and a special herbal ink for his quill. Soon, Vyas started his dictation. Things proceeded smoothly. After a while, Vyas dictated a couplet that was very complex. Ganesha stopped writing and started deciphering the real essence of those complex lines. Vyas was waiting for this moment. He soon started weaving more complex couplets. Vyas would see a childish twinkle in Ganesha's eyes whenever he succeeded in deciphering the meaning of those couplets. Ganesha would chuckle and write down the script with more enthusiasm. And so the process went on. Mahabharat The Great Epic The Mahabharat is one of the longest epics ever created in the world. It consists of around 88,000 verses and each verse is a long passage. Ganesha proved to be a wise writer as he wrote down each and every couplet only after understanding the real meaning of it. He did not lose his patience and the long pauses in between helped Sage Vyas compose the couplets properly. Meanwhile, when the process was going on, the quill that Ganesha was writing with broke down. Ganesha knew the value of time and the value of the conditions laid by him and the sage about the non-stop writing of the epic. So without any delay, Ganesha took his broken tusk, broken by sage Parshuram 
and resumed work. This showed his dedication, commitment and concentration to a task at hand. Slowly the work of writing down the great epic came to an end. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.